with her eyes, with her smile, with her belt, with her hands, with her money. I am the thesis of her prayers. Her nieces and her nephews are just pieces of the layers. Only one she loves as much as me is Jesus Christ and Taylor. I got a future song. Hi everyone, welcome back to Sheena's Juju. So today's video, I am doing the TMI tag. And I was tagged by the I Wish Twins. Uh, they have a YouTube channel, uh, Ronnie and Lisa, and I will link their channel below so you guys can check them out. So I'm going to dive right into the tag because it's 50 questions. I don't want this video to be like 20 hours long, so I'm going to try and go through them as quick as possible, okay? So, and I have them on paper here, so if you see me looking down, that is why. So the first question is, what are you wearing? Well, as you can see, I'm wearing a black V-neck t-shirt, and I also have on my army print uh, le uh, jeans that I got from Target the other day. And you guys, if you watch the vlog, um, the video before this, you'll see me trying them on in the changing room. Two, have you ever been in love? Yes, I've been in love multiple times. Um... Obviously, I'm currently in love with my husband, and I'm in love with my entire family. So yeah, I've been in love. Number three, ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, multiple. <laughs> um, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Number four, how tall are you? Well, my driver's license says 5'1" because on the day I went to get my license, I would guess I was just feeling tall that day. But in reality, I am 4'11". Yes, I am a very short person. <laughs> Question number five is how much do you weigh? First of all, that is way too much information. If you watch my body positivity video, you'll know that I am just starting to fall in love with me and my body. So I am not disclosing my weight, um, but I'm healthy. You know, that's all y'all need to know. Number six, have, do I have any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos. Both of them are on my right shoulder blade. Both of them I got um, in England. Um, yeah, if y'all want me to do like a video or not a video but just to tell you more about them then leave me a comment below and i'll reply to your comment below about my tattoos question number seven is do you have any piercings yes i do um i have my ears pierced i did have my nose pierced twice when i was younger but i took it out and no longer have it pierced so at the moment i just have my ears pierced question number eight is otp which means one true pairing. My one true pairing is Lily Singh and Yusef Erekat. Sometimes. I don't know. It's always going to be Lily Singh and somebody because I really want her to date. So today is Yusef. Tomorrow it might be Derek Pueblo. I don't know. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go to Lily's uh, channel and you'll be able to see all about them over there. Question number nine is your favorite show. My number one favorite show on TV is Grey's Anatomy. I could watch Grey's Anatomy all day, every day. I am totally in love with the show, in love with the characters. I'm invested in them. When one of them dies, it's like one of my family members passed. Is is that serious? I am in love with Grey's Anatomy. Number 10 is your favorite band. I I don't know because I'm not really into like bands like that but right now I guess I'm really loving the song um Closer I think it's called by the Chainsmokers that I think they're a band so we'll go with that the Chainsmokers uh number 11 is something that you miss all day every day I miss my family I miss my mom, I miss my dad, I miss my sisters, I miss my brothers, I miss my nieces, I miss my nephews, cousins, aunties, uncles, everyone. Everyone that's in England that's attached to me, I miss them all day, every day. Number 12 is your favorite song. I have two favorite songs right now. They've been my favorite songs for a long time. 
I am, my first favorite song is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. My second favorite song is Caroline by Amine. I think that's how they pronounce it, Amine, A-M-I-N-E. So yeah, I've been playing them nonstop all day, every day since they released. I'm in love with those songs. Question 13 is how old are you? I just turned 36 on March 4th. Yes, I know, maybe I don't look my age, <laughs> but I am 36. I don't feel like I'm 36. I feel like I'm maybe 26. Um, but yeah, that's me, 36. Next question is my zodiac sign. I am a Pisces. I love being a Pisces. I mean, to be honest, I don't really believe in all of that zodiac sign stuff, but it is fun to read and to look up and, you know, to see what they're saying. But yeah, I'm a Pisces. Quality you look for in a partner is the next question. And I already have a partner. He's been my partner, my husband, for 16 years. Um, he is kind. He is caring. Um, he is sensitive to me. Um, he is selfless. He is funny. He is fine as hell. Um, he's everything. He, he is everything that I need and more. Favorite quote um, is a quote by, well, I have a lot, but the one favorite quote I can think of right now is by Lily Singh, and it is, um, happiness is, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but happiness is the one thing that is worth fighting for. Um, and if you think about it, you know, you're always fighting to be happy about something or other. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite quote right now. I have many more of it. That's the one I can think of. Favorite actor. This is a hard question. I have a lot. But um, I would say um, Denzel Washington. I'm going to include actresses because, come on. Uh, Viola Davis. Um, I love Jesse Williams. Um, I love Meryl Streep. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. I love Sanaa Latham, Gabrielle Union. Um, oh my gosh. There's, there's so many. There's so many. But those are a few of my favorite actors and actresses. Favorite color is purple all day, every day. Purple makes me so happy. If I see a purple something, it's going to make me smile and feel, feel all warm and fuzzy inside. There's just something about the color purple that uh, makes me happy. So yeah. Loud music or soft music? 100% loud music. Even if it's a ballad, you know, R&B song, I want it loud. If it's anything else, whatever, I want it loud. I want to feel that bass in my chest. Like, I'm Jamaican. I may have been born in England, but I'm Jamaican. My family's Jamaican, and we love bass in our music, and I want to feel that bass in my chest. So loud music all the way. Where do you go when you're sad? Um, honestly, I don't have a specific place I go to where I'm sad, when I'm sad, but I just like to be alone when I'm sad. Um, I don't want to speak to anyone. I don't really want to watch TV or anything. I prefer to listen to music, um, and just be alone and quiet, uh, with me and my thoughts. Next question is how long does it take you to take a shower? I think... You know, I'm kind of slow in the morning. I'm not really a morning person at all. Um, I want to say about 15, maybe 20 minutes, because most of the time I'm in there, like for five of those minutes, literally just thinking about something and talking to myself and, you know, talking to God and then I'll wash and, you know, whatever, whatever. So I think about 20, 20 ish minutes. Next question. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? <laughs> and when Ronnie and Lisa watch this, they're gonna laugh because when I told them how long, they were like, what? But I wanna say it takes me about a good hour and a half, maybe an hour to an hour and a half because I'm slow, I'm so slow in the morning. I'm not a morning person, I don't wanna wake up. I always wanna sleep longer. I move slow, I talk slow, I do everything slow in the morning. Um, so yeah, I take a long time. Next question is ever been in a physical fight? Yes, 
multiple times. Um, I've never started the fight. It's always somebody wanting to fight me. Um, but yeah, you know, we're not going to dwell on that for too long because it's negative and, you know, whatever. Uh, next question is, what is a turn on for me? A turn on is definitely someone, um, which I'm married. So anything I'm saying pertains to my husband. So, um, someone that can make me laugh is key. That's number one. Um, someone that gets my sense of humor is a turn on. Um, somebody that is, uh, concerned about me, my well being. How am I? How's my health? How, how am I doing, you know, mentally? Somebody that just is genuinely concerned is a turn on. Next question is what is a turn off? I don't like insensitive people. I don't like ignorant people. Um, I don't like, okay, this one's weird. I don't like people that spit in the street. And for some reason, I always seem to catch people spitting in the street. Or have you ever seen someone literally open their car door and spit out on the road? Like to me, that's so gross. I just, I don't, I just don't like spit in general. Um, you know, within reason next question <laughs> the reason i joined youtube um the reason i joined was because um short uh answer is that i just needed an outlet for myself i needed an outlet for my thoughts and my feelings i needed an outlet um you know just to express myself in something that would be mine um that i could you know be passionate about and be proud of the next question is what are my fears and it's gonna get a little deep here but I would say my number one fear is something happening to my mom Um, if you all don't know my mom lives in well she lives between England and Jamaica but my fear is something happening to her and I'm not able to get to her in time we'll just leave it there I don't want to think about it Next question is the last thing that made me cry. Last thing that makes made me cry and that always makes me cry is my anxiety. Um, and it could be about a multitude of things. But the last time I cried was because I was anxious about something. Uh, the last time you said you loved someone uh, was today. Uh, I told my husband that I loved him. I tell him that I love him all the time. Um, anytime I speak to any family or close friends, I tell them that I love them. It's not something that I, um, you know, withhold or don't like to say too often. You should always tell the people that you love that you love them because you never know when that will be the last time that you talk to them. Sorry, got a bit serious and deep there. <laughs> Next question is the meaning behind your YouTube name. So my channel name is Sheena Mikulski, but I always say my channel is Sheena's Juju. And my husband actually came up with that name because he said that I'm giving people my juju. I'm giving them my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, and that's my juju. Um, so yeah, he thought of it. I liked it. Um, so I went with it. Next question is the last book that I read. Um, and it's actually behind me. I can't reach it right now. But the last book I read is called uh, Muslim Girl. And it's by Imani El Kab I'm sorry, I'm going to say her name wrong. But I'll try and write it somewhere. Imani El Kabate. Um, and it's really talking. She's talking about um, her childhood and growing up as a Muslim girl. And the things that she went through um, and how she dealt with them. It's a really good book. Really good. Um, the book you're currently reading, I'm not reading the book right now. I'm saving myself for when How to Be a Boss comes out. It's Lily Singh's book. It's going to be out in less than two weeks. Um, so I'm saving all my book reading self for, for reading uh, How to Be a Boss. Um, the last show that I watched was last night because uh, it was Thursday and I watched Grey's Anatomy. The last person I talked to was my husband. Um, I dropped him off to work this morning. Um, yeah, and we talked in the car. Uh, the relationship between the last person that I texted. The last person I texted was actually Ronnie, um, the person that tagged me in this video. Um, 
and we were just chatting, you know, about filming YouTube, about this tag. Um, I love her. She is a really nice and kind spirit. Um, and I'm really glad that I met her. Uh, my favorite food. Uh, well, now that I, I only eat seafood now. So my favorite food right now um, is seafood, anything. Salmon, shrimp, you know, uh, whatever. Any type of seafood I love. Um, place that I want to visit. Um, all day, every day, I want to go to England, of course. So that's where my family is. But if I want to go just, you know, on a little vacation somewhere, the next place I'd like to go would be Trinidad and Tobago. Do you have a crush? Yes, my honey. Last time you kissed somebody this morning, my husband. Last time you were insulted. You know, I don't, I haven't been insulted to my face um, that I know that I can remember, but you know, someone's probably insulting me all day, every day, and I don't know it. So who knows? Favorite flavor of sweet um, has to be peach. I really love the peach flavor of anything. What instruments do you play? None. <laughs> I don't play any instruments. <laughs> Favorite piece of jewelry, um, I would have to say is actually the bracelet that I'm wearing. If you can see it, but it is my girl love Rafiki. I wear this practically every day. Um, I have two of these and each bracelet that is bought helps send a girl uh, in Africa to school. So I am going to be trying to buy one of these bracelets every now and again and I'll and give them away because it's for a very good cause. Last sport you played, I don't play sports. Is drinking a sport? <laughs> I, I don't play sports. Last song you sang was Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Favorite chat up line, I, I mean, yeah, my husband, you know, still kind of chats me up, but we've been married for 16 years now. Um, but honestly, I just like when he calls me baby, boo, honey. I like little pet names. I'm into pet names. I call people pet names and I like when people call me pet names. I think it's very affectionate. Um, it says, have you ever used it? Yes. I call people baby, love, babe, sweetheart, sweetie all the time. Last time you hung out with anyone? Um, uh, well, I hang out with my husband all the time. He's also my best friend as well as my husband. So yeah, my husband. And the last question is who should answer these questions next? So I am going to tag uh, tj.metjohnson and I'm going to tag uh, Asia, um, uh, Asia Renee. And I'm going to tag Linda, um, who has a YouTube channel as well. She's my Twitter sister. They all are my Twitter sisters. Um, but I will leave their channels below so y'all can check them out. Go over to their channel, show them some love and subscribe to them because they are awesome. So that's it. That's the TMI tag. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something about me that you didn't maybe know. And I will see you in my next video. I love you all so much. Bye.